Hello, ladies. It is Tuesday at 4.30, so it's time for our earring show. So that's what everybody wanted to see today, for the most part, majority rules. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to do earrings. Sorry if I look, it looks like I look a little bit white and pasty on um, Instagram. That is actually just my natural skin color, other than sunburn. So we can have sunburn, we can have white. That's pretty much my choices. I don't tan. Hi, Ashley. I envy all of you who tan because you have more than one color you can be. I have two colors, I have red and I have white. So I have a love-hate relationship with the sun, so I stay inside a lot. It takes literally less than 15 minutes before I start sunburning. And I sunburnt my lips this time, which is crazy. I have never sunburnt my lips. But I didn't put chapstick on while I was at the beach, and I didn't think about it because I actually have sunscreen chapstick, and I didn't use it. So I came home and my whole lower lip was blistered. So imagine a cold sore all the way across your lower lip. That's what we're dealing with. So hopefully that'll heal up soon and I will not make that mistake again. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, Mom. So if anybody has certain colors or styles of earrings that you particularly want to see or even a specific pair, let me know. Other than that, I have pulled some out and we will we'll just go with that. So we're gonna try to get 40 pairs in, in 40 minutes, which means we're gonna have to kind of move fast, but we'll see how it goes. I don't have to. So I just thought it'd be fun to try. So speed shopping. Hi, Violet, thank you for sharing. How's everybody's weather? I'm hot. It's not super hot outside, but it is warm in the house. It's actually cooler outside. I should have taken all my earrings and we could have gone out in the gazebo and done the show there. Hi, Aunt Dora. Lavender and yellow for Esley. Can you look and see if we have any lavender earrings, please? I do have some yellow ones in the show already, but I don't have any lavender in. So they're either hanging right there behind you, right there, or on the back of that board. <laughs> All right, so I got a few new pairs of earrings in. So we'll go ahead and show those first. These are called With All Due Respect. And they call them that because these are a dewy type of bead. These are not moonstones, but they are a dewy looking bead. So they're similar to the moonstones in appearance, but they're a faceted bead, round ones, all in kind of a, a diamond shape. They are hooked to this little silver frame. So these are not necessarily freely moving. They do move a little bit, but they do have a frame on the back of them. The new pair I pre-ordered for my sister was lavender. Yes. Don't have those in yet though. So these are called all due respect with all due respect. This is the size and the length. I may have to take my earrings off. Sometimes they get in the way. Hi Shannon. Hi Terry. So this is the size. I have two of these available. So these are going to be number one, with all due respect. I should have some that are super light purple. You said lavender and yellow? Or just lavender? Just lavender or yellow. I have lavender up here. So if you can just find a yellow, that'd be great. Or I mean the lavender, yeah. Find the lavender. I have yellow. Uh. Sorry, I said it wrong. There should be one called Royal Carriages that has very light purple rhinestones in it. In That's silver. All right. Hi, Liz. Good to see you. Hi, Sheila. Good to see you, too. Everybody's here. Yay. The gang's all here. Well, almost. These are called Oval the Moon. So I had these in silver before. Now we've gotten them in, in gold. So I have two pairs of these. They're multiple ovals in different sizes layered together. They're also hanging from ovals in gold on a fish hook back. So these are a little bit longer, but they're not huge. So that kind of helps, right? They're not humongous. So these are called Oval the Moon. Hi, Kimberly. Oval the Moon in gold, two pairs of these available. And they are number two. I have two that want to stick together. 
I need a description. They are a silver teardrop with very light purple rhinestones on them. <laughs> These are called Peruvian Princess. So these are some of our fun earrings. They have aqua blue tassels coming off the bottom of this delicate wire silver hoop. They're on a fish hook back. Just have one of these available. So this is the size. And this can turn a little bit sideways. It's not going to on me because I've already got earrings on. But you can fix it so it turns a little bit sideways if you want it to. Mostly it's going to look like this. These are called Peruvian Princess in blue, and they're number three. Nope, it should not say pink. Okay. <laughs> um, so, let me find my next pair here. There they are, the silver pair. So I knew I had these in two colors. Hi, Allison. So I have these in both silver and gold. These are called Urban Lineup. These are front facing hoops on a fish hook back. They have crisscrossing arcs of metal at the bottom. So this is the size, let me get it down to one. This is the size of these. So I have two pairs of each. These are called Urban Lineup. They're in silver and gold. And they're number four. Yes, they are statement earrings. That's kind of, those are good. That's kind of what I wear when I don't wear necklaces. So I put on bigger earrings. So those are one that I would use. This is burst into teardrops in purple. So these are a light purple bead. Not quite as pale as lavender, but a light purple. They're in teardrop shapes. They're also set in a teardrop shape. So we've got double teardrops. Just have one pair of these remaining. This is the size. These are burst into teardrops. They're going to be number five. Caitlin, you're stretching your cord a little bit there, babe. So this is the last pair I have of these. These are wooden earrings. They're called Totally Framed because, of course, they look like frames. So these are rectangular wood earrings in black with the rectangular cutout on the inside. This is the size of these. So Totally Framed in black and they're a very lightweight wood number six i think wood earrings are fun for summer i think they're a very summery thing that's just my opinion <laughs> caitlin's laughing at me over here what oh dear okay so i have these in two different colors but i only have one pair of each so these are called Rhinestone Rebel. I have them in silver and in brass. So you can see these are kind of an antique silver. These have little hematite stones in them. And then our brass ones have little brassy gold or a yellow gold rhinestone in them, along with the antiqued metal. So one pair of each of these. Hi, Becky. This is the size. So one pair each, Rhinestone Rebel in brass and in silver. Number seven. Number eight, these just came in as well. These are called Southern Soul in blue. So we have the blue crackle stone in a teardrop shape inside this ornate silver frame. Let me try to get you a close-up here of what this frame looks like. Number seven, both to Marjorie. Gotcha, Marjorie. So this ornate silver frame is very pretty. I'm trying to get it where the light doesn't glare on it. I have two pairs of these. This is the size. So they're a larger crackle stone earring. Southern Soul in blue is number eight.
Number nine, these are called radiating refinement in gold. We just have one set of these left. So these are a gold metal. They're two circles inside each other. These are fused together so they don't move freely with white rhinestones all around. They're on a gold fish hook back. This is the size. So we have radiating refinement in gold, number nine. Is that hook working out okay for you, Caitlin? Okay. These are blue moonstone. Just have one set of these. So this is our blue moonstone in the center. You can see the color variation in it. And it's in, in, what do I call these? I call this like a basket weave or a twisted rope around the outside frame. They're round. These are a little smaller. So this is the size. Hi, Daisy. Just one pair of these. Time to glow up in blue. These are number 10. Have artisan applique. These are in the black metal. Have two of these available. They are big round circles with wire stretched in between those two circles. Also in the black. They're on a fish hook back, number 10 to mom. So this is the size of these. I like how light and airy these look, despite them being big. So they don't look huge on you because you can see through them. So these are artisan applique in black. Kind of remind you of the spokes on a bicycle wheel, don't they? And they're number 11. Number 12, I just have one of. These are called Wrapped in Wealth Gold. So you can see the inside oval is just the polished gold. These are freely moving. The outside is set in gold in their white rhinestones all the way around that outside. This is on a gold fish hook back. This is the size. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit like the Dreamcatcher. Not quite the same design, but very close. So these are wrapped in wealth gold. Just one pair of these available. These are number 12. Number 13, just one pair of these available. These are small flat gold polished discs all clustered together and a little drop earring. They are on a gold fish hook back. I like these because they're not huge, but they're eye catching because they're so sparkly, shiny. So this is a size. They are called Hear Me Shimmer in gold. And I also do have two pairs of these in silver. These are number 13. Hear Me Shimmer in gold, or I do have silver. I don't know why I don't have those pulled out, but I don't. Mermaid scales. Yeah, kind of. These are bodaciously bubbly in pink. So we have three pink circles. These are all fused together, so they're not freely moving. We have two that are encrusted with white or pink rhinestones, sorry, in the silver. And then we have a polished silver circle in the center. So these are like a hot pink or a dark pink. Two pairs of these. This is the size. These are number 14. Speaking of mermaids, these are called Eden Radiance. These are a leather earring with a holographic finish on them. Number 14 is Allison, kind of in a marquee shape, cut in a marquee shape. If they're too big for you, I know Sharon has cut down some leather earrings before, so you could potentially cut these down into another shape. They do have two pairs available. They're called multi because obviously they're holographic, so we have all the different colors in them. They're based in silver. 
This is the size as is. But again, you could cut them down if you wanted to. So Eden Radiance Multi, two available, number 15. I just like all the different colors. My fish hook back is trying to get caught here. They do that. Here we go. These are flat lined in silver. So these are ones you've seen me wear myself. These are an oval shaped hoop in a flat polished silver. They are on a post. This is the size. So they're narrow, but they're long. So just one pair available of these. They are flat lined in silver, number 16. Number 17, these are called In Crowd Couture. We're 16 too, Sharon. These are a bright yellow. I think a little bit more neonish then lemon. So it's a little bit in between the two. Number 14 also to violet. So it's in between a neon and a lemon. It is a bright yellow. These are teardrops in a couple different sizes and they're made in a teardrop shape, placed in a teardrop shape all the way around. I have two of these available. This is the size. So in crowd couture, in yellow is number 17. This one's a very pretty yellow. I like these. These are called Mandala Mecca. Number 13 in silver to mom. So these are kind of flowery filigree, one larger than the other. So smaller one on top, larger one on the bottom. They have a pretty yellow rhinestone in the middle. That is a lemony yellow. Let's get a good look at those. This is the size. I do have two of these available. So we've got Mandala Mecca in yellow, number 18. These are called Sprinkle on the Sparkle. They are in silver. They have silver pearly beads set inside this interior teardrop. Let me see if I can show you that. There you go. So we've got the silver pearly beads on that interior teardrop shape. And then we have white rhinestones all around the outside. This is a frilly type teardrop setting. So a nice filigree. I have two pairs of these. This is the size. So if you needed something to match some silver pearls, or just like the look of these with the pearls and the rhinestones, they're a very pretty earring. Sprinkle on the sparkle. In silver, two available, number 19. I'll just put them there so you don't have to unhook them. All right, these are in red. Just have one pair of these. These are called Watch Oval Me. So we've got a slightly curved disc that's made up of all these little ovals. So some of the ovals are encrusted with the red rhinestones. That's why they're called red. And the other ones are polished silver. Kind of remind me of a contact lens, the way they're shaped. So this is the size of these. They are Watch Oval Me in red, just one pair, and they're number 20. These are a very cute cork, and I forgot the name of them. I didn't put it on the back. So these are a cut, patterned, upside down teardrop. They're in a cork with a whitewash in places. They're super light. Our cork is very, very light. Yes, yeah, so you can own all the earrings. They don't take up much space. They're on a fish hook back. I do have two pairs of these. This is the size. So this is, hmm? 
Number 21. Caitlin says they look like a cow. <laughs> Whatever, Caitlin. <laughs> this is why we don't ask you things. All right. These are Tour de Taj Mahal in rose gold. I've only got one pair of these as well. They're kind of a teardrop shape as well in a frilly, flowery pattern. This is in that very pretty rose gold that is a mixture of gold and copper, so a lighter, shiny copper. This is the size. And the shine doesn't even really show up with that. But Tour de Taj Mahal in rose gold is number 22. Yes, to go with your cowhide rug. There you go. Also have these in rose gold. These are called metallic mosaic. Also believe I only have one of these. These are number 22 to Daisy. These are discs. I'm gonna call these cutouts rather than filigree. They're kind of a cross between the two and they don't really have a flowery design in them. They're just cutouts, squares set on point and some other little shapes in there on that rose gold fish hook back. This is the size. So metallic mosaic in rose gold. Just have one of these available. Number 23. Oh, I thought it was metallic. <laughs> oh, Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin. I know what we're going to do with this girl. All right. These are some large hoops. These are antique silver. You can see they're very, very narrow. They have a pretty pattern on them. They would. I would like to see them in a gold too. Gold with the white rhinestones. Love to see them in some different variations, Shannon. Because I believe they are probably one of the prettiest earrings that we have. And everybody loves them but they only come in a few colors. And I think that we could really benefit by having a few more colors. So we have a little bit of a design cut into the edges. <laughs> As I said, they're antiqued copper. So they're the dark copper. This is the size. So they're gonna turn kind of sideways on me because they're clashing <laughs> with my other earrings. These are sleek fleek in copper. These are number 24. You can't tell I like some big earrings, especially when I don't wear anything else like today, don't have a necklace on, so I want some decent sized earrings so that something shows up. These are Flamingo Flamenco in red, 24 to Kimberly. Flamingo Flamenco in red, so we have a pretty teardrop shape with a little filigree design in it that is enameled in red. So it's a red and silver combination. Just have one pair of these, but I also have a pair that is in a blue and it's kind of a turquoise blue. This is the size. These are Flamingo Flamenco in red, number 25. Got to cut down on the earring stock because we're getting to where I have like one pair of a whole lot of different kinds of earrings. So trying to cut down a little bit on the stock here. I do have rings, but I'm going to show them Thursday, Kim. Usually I do rings and bracelets on a Thursday. So I got a couple new ones in this week and I should have some more coming. These are called Rural Roadrunner in blue. These are, are a marquee shaped turquoise crackle stone with an attached feather. So these are all one piece, a little silver feather below that crackle stone. Have two pairs of these. These are a post earring. They're not a dangly, although they do dangle. <laughs> so this is the size. Rural Roadrunner in blue, two available, number 26. 
I do have some hair bows though, which I'll show after we get done with our earrings here. So I've got a few hair accessories that I can add in, which I don't usually get time to show. So these extra shows are good for something, right? We get to show a lot of things that we didn't usually get to show. These are getting hitched in gold. Have one pair of these available. So these are gold hoops, three gold hoops with diamond cut on them, which makes them sparkle rather than just shining like the polished gold. They're held together by this little clip that is encrusted with white rhinestones. They're on a fish hook back. Yes, these are beautiful violet and I'm looking for them to come out in another color as well. We've had the black, this is the gold. So this is a size. Getting hitched in gold, just one, number 27. I'd like to see these come out in a silver and maybe a copper as well, shiny copper. I think those would look good in those variations. Yes, we had black. I believe it is all sold out. Hang on just one second and I can verify that for you. Number 27 to Kimberly. Yep, I will just pull that up right now and I can tell you whether the black are all sold out, but I believe that they are. I can check around and see if somebody else has them though. Getting hitched. Yes, my black are sold out. I just had that one pair in gold and Kimberly would like them. Why don't these have a name on the back of them? <sighs> Look on the, on the back of the board and find another pair like this. They're in a different color. They're soul something. Soul, S-O-L, soul, like sun. So these are a pretty lemony yellow as well. We have two half circles in a silver. Soul searching. Soul, soul searching. Okay. Soul searching is what this is with some yellow beads embedded in different shapes. And then off the bottom, we have a couple different sizes of teardrops falling toward the middle. This is the size. Just have one in the yellow color. Just have one in yellow. These are soul searching in yellow, number 28. I do have a couple of other colors of those on the website as well. So if that's something you're into, but you'd like a different color, we have a few others. Red and army green and, or maybe an olive green, depends on what you wanna call it. And a black, I believe. So these are rule breaking radiance in gold. I have two of these. These are also a post earring. So the post is at the top of this circle right here. And obviously I need to redo my fingernails. You see that? Hola, Dale. So the top two circles are polished gold. And then the bottom one is a gold setting with white rhinestones encrusted on it. This is the size of these. These are very pretty earring too. And the fact that only the bottom circle has the rhinestones makes, makes them less uh, fancy. So more something you could wear every day if you wanted to. I do have two of these available. They're called Rule Breaking Radiance, number 29. Number 30, Oriental Oasis in brown. So we have a dark brown wood in a fan shape with the little cutouts, little rectangular cutouts in it to make these light and airy as well. These are a post earring. The post is in the center of this little top piece. It's also like a fan shape, a solid fan. All these make great beach earrings or great summery earrings. The wood is so lightweight and they cut such nice little shapes in them to make them an airy looking earring. So these are Oriental Oasis in brown. This is a dark brown, like an espresso. Two of these available. Number 30. I like these two, Dolly. Almost snatched these out of my drawer. Hi, Jane. Last week when I went to the beach. Almost got them. 
and I made myself hold back. <laughs> so these are actually called Beach Day Drama in brown. I do have two of these available. So we have this large brown circle on the bottom with the circle cut out in the middle. And then we have a brown wooden ring above it and they're held together with three strands of little beige beads. Sort of like a seed bead, but a little bit larger. They're on a silver fish hook back, which means I'm obviously holding them upside down because look at that paparazzi's upside down. I think everything's upside down today. So this is the size. Almost snatched these to go to the beach. They're called Beach Day Drama in brown and they're number 31. What did I wear to the beach? I actually didn't wear any earrings to the beach. And I should have, but I just didn't. There were a couple pairs I had my eye, eye on and I just, I didn't do either one of them. All right, I have two pairs in each color of these. So these are Glimmering Go-Getter in purple and in blue. So this is a very bright blue, like a bright cornflower blue. They're calling it um, fjord blue or a French blue. It's almost a French blue. A little bit brighter than that, though. These are like little chunks, almost like little rock chunks. And they do have a slightly iridescent coating on them. So you can see that they're reflecting different colors as you move them. This is like an amethyst purple. So not a super purple purple, if that makes sense to you. If you know about amethyst, it will. And then these are the bright blue. I do have two pairs of each of these. They're hanging on a delicate wire hoop on a fish hook back. So this is the size. They're not huge. They're actually a pretty dainty earring when you look at just one by itself. So I have two pairs of each color. Glimmering Go-Getter in purple or in blue, they are 32. I try to pick out pretty earrings since I get to choose. These just have one of, these are Malibu Mamba. Okay, blue 32 to mom. I think that they will go pretty well with your um, Life of the Block party. There may be just a shade darker, but somewhere in that area or with the other um, iridescent blue earring um, necklace that we have bought. All right, these are Malibu Mamba in pink. So they're a very hot pink. They're a teardrop shape with pretty silver filigree up at the top. And then we have two pink beads hanging from up in the center of that teardrop. And then we've got little stacks of two hot pink beads on each strand hanging from the bottom. This is the size. Yes, I thought they were Allison earrings too. They remind me of her. So these are Malibu Mamba in pink and they're number 33. I also have these in pink. These are more of the neon type of pink. Very bright pink. It's upside down triangle with a little twisted rope edge along the bottom part of that triangle. And then a hammered circle on the bottom. They're on a fish hook back. This is the size 33 to Allison. So they are really going to remind us of Allison now. <laughs> they definitely have your name on them, Allison. These are called Road Trip Treasure in pink. So again, more of a neon type pink or a fingernail polish pink. Number 34. And I have two pairs available. Oh, you got a raise Sunday? Congratulations. It's nice to get a raise, especially in this time because everything's more expensive now. Have you noticed that? Even though things are readily available, we don't have shortages. The prices have gone up. So you can buy it, you just need more money. <laughs> All right, these are tapered twinkle in gold. Just have one pair of these. These are a little on the fancy side. So we have a little gold circle coming down from our fish hook back. 
and then a bar holding on the strands of white rhinestones. They are set in gold. This is the size. So tapered twinkle in gold, just one of these available, number 35. And look at that, I am right on time, like right on time, 35 and 35. We've been on 35 minutes. These are Whimsy Dreams in gold. So these are a filigree flower inside a teardrop with a cute little lime green rhinestone in the center and up at the top of the teardrop. Just have one of these still remaining. This is the size. Yes, I thought you bought my other set. It was either you or Kimberly. So this is Whimsy Dreams in green. Number 36. So I think we'll just make Tuesday afternoon earring day for these three weeks. So our Tuesday afternoons will be spent on earrings at 4.30. That's kind of a fun thing to do and you can do them quickly. Yes, I have been, Shannon, and the traffic is so backed up with everybody trying to get gas. Our Probably at least a mile, our, our traffic is backed up in town from everybody trying to get in the gas stations. All right, these are San Diego Samba. So these are a circle earring. Again, they're set on a filigree setting inside this circle with little bars, and then they have those pretty spring green beads in them. I don't know what else to call it besides spring green. Let's see. Oh, they're calling these lime green too. I'm thinking granny apple. Uh, it affected down in this area, Terry, the Southeast. There was um, a hacking incident that affected a, an oil pipeline down here that supplies everything, and so the gas is kind of in a short supply. So let me show you the size on these. This is the size. So our gas pump prices have gone up, plus a lot of gas stations are out of gas. So these are San Diego Samba in green, number 37. Our governor actually declared a state of emergency and asked you not to get gas if you don't need it right now. So we're just trying to stay home as much as possible, which we mostly are anyway. And so we don't really need any. Okay, these are Gorgeously Genie in pink. I actually have a pair of these myself. So these are another teardrop shape earring. These have hot pink faceted teardrop beads hanging from the center and from the bottom. And then we have little rhinestones also up here along the bottom curve of those two teardrops. Nah, we just need to stay home more. This is the size, but you know how people are. And as soon as you tell them there's a shortage, they all run out and try to get it, even if they don't really need it right now, because they're afraid it won't be there when, you, when they do need it. So these are gorgeously genie in pink. These are opaque beads. It's number 38. Okay, these are number 39. And I do have these in a couple other colors. These are the yellow ones. So this is, again, kind of a bright yellow along the bottom curve of this oval with some silver filigree along the inside and then an oval cutout. You're on a fish hook back. I have two available. These are called Orchard Bliss. This is the size. So two available, Orchard Bliss in yellow is number 39. And can you just hand me no. one pair of earrings from back there? Just one? Yep, I'm one short. Just pick a pair. There we go. I didn't really that is a pretty yellow, Terry. It is a bright yellow. Here, you took the, um, <laughs> you took the little hanger with it. All right, these I have two pairs left of. These are called Making Rounds in pink. 
These are a nice silver hoop. They're an oversized hoop. And this front half is encrusted in hot pink rhinestones. Love our hot pink rhinestones, right? So this is the size of these hoops. They're a little bit bigger than the Glitzy by Association. Um, I don't think so. I think you have them, Allison. I don't think Violet has them. So this is the size. These are making rounds in pink and they're number 40. So those are our 40 earrings. Now I have a few different hair bows to show you and we will be done for the day. This one I just have one of. This is called Pleasantly Patterned in Black. This is an alligator type clip. So again, also an alligator type print or an animal type print in leather, black leather on the front, two silver studs. So I'm just gonna put this up. Okay, they came yesterday. Mm, okay, I don't think you got them from me then. This is the size of the hair bow, so I'm just gonna put it up here next to my head so you can kind of get an idea. This is pleasantly patterned in black. And they're gonna be number 41. This one I have two of. This is a very bright, uh, I'm gonna call it salmon. Bright salmon color, cause it's an orangey pink. They're calling it orange on the back, but we're not listening to them. This is one large hair bow. It is on an alligator clip. It's called Blossom Blowout. Okay, it must have been the other order. It wasn't the one I just invoiced for. That's what I was thinking of. This is the size of this one. Maybe you can get your, your summer. It is, it's kind of a bright coral. It's like a neon coral, Terry, from where I'm looking at it at. I know it's a little bit washed out on Facebook, but it's like a neon coral. Yeah, it might be a little bit, um, Allison. I'm looking at it and these are put on in like a coil. So you could actually remove some of these outer layers if you wanted to. That's what I was thinking, mom, hula girl. That's what it reminds me of. So you can remove some of these outer layers by just unwinding this and then cutting it off, just making sure the end was still glued in. So if you wanted to make it slightly smaller, you could. But I've got two of these. So it's Blossom Blowout. They're calling it orange. It's a number 42. Reminds me a little bit of salmon though, just a little bit darker and brighter. Good salmon, that is. These are rhinestone jungle in black. So here we have two alligator clips, bar clips. Down the center, they have an animal print in black and white. And then down the two edges are white rhinestones. So these would be nice if you wanted to pull up two sides of your hair or I use two of these stacked on top of each other to pull back just the center of my hair. Yeah, I think you do have these, Allison, because the clip goes one way on one side and the other way on the other side. So I put them both in. These are number 43, just have one pair remaining. They're called Rhinestone Jungle in black. Number 44, I have two sets of these left. These are ribbon reception in yellow. So these are flowers made out of ribbon. In our center, we have a white pearly bead surrounded by white rhinestones. So this is a set of two. These are the smaller alligator clips. So not as long as the other ones. This is the size of these. So these are not as big as the other one, which is why there's two. Ribbon reception in yellow. Two of these available, number 44. Don't worry, I'm running out of things. I've got three left, three left, so bear with me. This is number 44 to Allison. This is in the round, multi. I have two of these. It's in a very pretty green 
and purple and white tortoise shell look. The center is, as you can see, cut out. It has the little snap clip for a regular type barrette. Just one of these in the set, but I have two, two available. So these are called in the round multi. This is the size of these. I like these to hold my bangs back because your hair color still shows through the center. And since I don't have a lot of hair there, it works perfectly for these type of clips. This is number 45. You're having fun, so I should keep going. I have to save something for tomorrow. So I got three boxes in between yesterday and today. So I'm saving the rest of that for tomorrow. So that you can have something new to look at tomorrow too. And I'm saving the rings and the bracelets for Thursday. So I've got some new rings and some new bracelets for you to see. This is a set of two also. This is called Brightest Star in the Sky Multi. So this is, it looks white lavender to me, okay? They're calling it multi because it kind of has that clear in it too. So what do they call this? Um, I'm trying to think what they call this, where it's opaque and clear all swirled together. And then they have little white rhinestones. No, silver, sorry. Silver rhinestone stars silver metal stars on them. Three stars on each barrette. They're the smaller alligator clips. These are brightest star in the sky. Multi. This is the size of these. Give you kind of something to judge by. This number 46. And last but not least, abalone. Thank you, Violet. I could not think of the name of it. And that's what happens usually. I get on the show. And if you'd ask me normally, I could probably tell you. But as soon as you try to think of it, you can't think of it anymore. Number 46 to mom. Do have another pair of those. So if anybody else wants them, I have those available. I have one of these. This is Know All the Triangles. So this is the larger alligator clip. It is in gold. We have hammered outline triangles. And then... Okay, I had to make sure they were linear. A linear pattern on the other three triangles. I almost thought it was a grid at first, the way I was looking at it, but it's linear. So a very tiny linear pattern on these other three triangles that kind of gives them a brushed appearance. So this is the size of this one. Know all the triangles in gold is number 47. So we got 47 things in in 48 minutes. That's like a marathon for shopping, right? So we'll be back here tomorrow again at 4.30. We have the necklace sets tomorrow. So I've got some new things in for you to see. Some very interesting new things in for you to see. I've already looked through them myself, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, don't think there's anything I need to tell you. If you haven't gotten it already, invoices have been sent out. So please let me know if you didn't receive it. And your packages went out in the mail today. So you should be receiving them very soon. So thank you for joining me this afternoon, helping me out, looking at all these earrings. And we'll do it again next Tuesday with just all the earrings. And we'll see you later. Have a good week. Bye.